hey guys welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to learn how to work with android navigation drawer as you can see in this demo application i've created a navigation drawer which responds to click so i've added this menu that is logout and custom if i click logout a new fragment is opened and is sprayed if i click custom a new activity is opened and is sprayed so this is what we are going to learn that is how to add menus how to add fragments and even how to open an activity when a navigation drawer item is clicked so to get started i'm going to begin by creating a new project so go to file new project and select navigation draw activity click next give your application name in this case i'm going to call it navigation draw click finish give time for your android studio to finish loading packages and modules Once everything is done, the first thing that I'm going to do is to learn this application and what, see what we have uh, for the default application. So click learn. Let's close this one. So the Grado build is learning. There we are, the application is installing now. And there we are. So by default, when you create a navigation draw activity project, uh, it comes with three menu, that is home, gallery, and slideshow. So we are going to learn how can we add more menu items? How can we open an, a new a fragment and an activity? As you can see, if I click home, home fragment is opened, Gallery activity is opened, slideshow is open. So we are going to add another one and learn how we can be able to implement the same. So to add a new menu, I'm going to go to the menu folder. It's here. Within the activity main drawer, I'm going to click uh, split. And then I'm going just to copy this one, paste it here. Also copy this one and paste it there down. So we have our two menu change the id for this one it will be logout and this one will be custom i'm also going to change the title as you can see this one so i'm going to copy this one and paste it down here and paste it again but this one will be logout change this one to logout change this one to custom this one the name change it to logout and this one also changes to custom then we are going to go back and we are going to have menu logout and this one we are going to give it menu custom you will need to change the icons so go to files then go to vector assets and generate icons you can generate logout icons And then generate the other one for custom and in this case i'm going to generate a wrist so once you finish change this one and give it a logout and this one give it a wrist now learn your project again and see uh, what changes you've been able to do so there we are as you can see we have uh, added two menu that is logout and custom if i click any of them uh, we don't get any response so what we are going to do is to add a fragment and an activity that will be displayed when i click custom and when i click logout respectively 
we'll begin by creating our, our fragment so go to your java then ui and then create a new package we can call this one logout then create as you can see the other fragments have uh, two files or two classes that is fragment and the view model in this case what you are going to create is a kotlin class and you are going to call it logout fragment fragment then we are going to copy what is here and just paste it in our logout fragment so in our case we don't need this one we also don't need this one then i'm going to create my layout file here and then i'm going to call it logout fragment all fragment logout within it just give a text in the text view that you're going to have a lab content lab content and then you need to align it so give it a start start of palette then give it end end of palette give it top top of palette so that it can be centered and then give it bottom bottom of palette now let's have a text and then the text will be logout fragment we are going to type this uh, layout to our class so i'm going to have logout fragment it's fragment logout the next thing we are going to do is to create uh, our activity so i'm going to have another package and i'm going to call it custom and within it i'm going to create activity i'll have an empty activity and i'm going to call it custom then within my custom activity i'm just going to have the text so i can copy this one and paste it here and say this is custom activity so now we are going to tie our menu with our activity and our uh, fragment head on uh, to your navigation and then that is mobile navigation then you will have uh, the fragments that you have just copy this one paste it below and change this one you can give it id navigation logout and it's going to uh, your fragment logout then the rainbow you want it to be displayed and the fragment that is fragment uh, logout and the rainbow we need menu logout so i'm going to put it here then copy again as you can see it has added it here you can drag it here then copy paste copy this one and paste it below now we don't need a, a fragment we need activity and this one will be navigation custom and you need uh, to display your activity here so you can have custom activity and the string is menu custom and the layout is frag activity custom then after tying go to your main activity and add the ids so what you are going to add is all dot id dot nav logout all dot id dot nav custom let's now learn and see what we have oops we need to import this one so if you're using control and then enter 
then learn again So let's try to click logout so we can see logout fragment when we click custom we can see custom activity so that's all guys you needed to learn in this uh, episode of navigation drawer that displays fragment and activities thank you for watching